Till next time, I'm Kristen Holt, and you've been cheating. Games are for fantasy fulfillment. Maybe you want to be a superhero or a Norse war god. Maybe you want to control the elements or fight on a futuristic battlefield. Or maybe you just, you know, want to drive really fast. Whatever your pleasure, we'll show you how it's done right now on Cheat. The show where rules don't matter and Ponage is the name of the game. I'm Kristen Holt with another batch of tips and tricks for your favorite titles. We're going everywhere from Warhammer's far future battlefields to Need for Speed's Rockport Backstreets. But first, next stop, Valhalla. Here's all you need to know about Valkyrie Profile 2. Valkyrie Profile 2 takes place centuries before the events of the first game, Lenin. This time out, you're Alicia, Princess of Daipan. There's a war in Valhalla, and for some reason, Odin has reincarnated the rebel Valkyrie Silmaria into your body. Naturally, this has you acting a little wacky. Your father thinks you're possessed and banishes you to a faraway castle. Meanwhile, Odin wants to summon your Valkyrie spirit back to Valhalla. Still with me? Let's go. Good. Now let's get you ready for battle. Want a hard body? Do some crunches. Hey. Or try attacking skeletons located in the Lost Forest early in the game. The Skull Vessel gives you the hard body skill and 120% extra defense. Warning Jewels give you the next piece of needed equipment, Blue Soul Flame. They can be found in Daipan Castle and the Kythena Plains. Equipping this will give you the Iron Fist skill and pump your attack by 120%. Mind Burst gives you 120% more magic power for your wizards. If you're still running around Kythena Plains looking for those warning jewels, keep an eye out for flying fish. Reel this monster in to receive a fish scale and the skill of Mind Burst. Of course, not all creatures will just hand you their specific items. Like Mama always said, if you first don't succeed, adjust your attacks and the method in which you assault your opponent to systematically eliminate each of their vital components. I have that embroidered on a pillow at home. Now let's talk about boss battles. Here's an easy way to take the edge off just about every level boss. First, pick one of the members of your team that can take the heat away from your party. Someone who can take a lot of damage. We pick the one with the biggest sword. At the start of battle, switch to that character and make him his own team by pressing up or down on the D-pad. Move him into attack position, but not too far away from the rest of the team. Keep your main team just out of the enemy's range. Right before your attack, switch your character back to the main team by pressing up on the D-pad. Now, attack. Get ready for the solo counterattack. Immediately push the D-pad up or down to switch out of the main group. Repeat as needed. Pulling this off keeps your main team right where you left them out of harm's way. Instead of risking your whole group, you only have to worry about a single character that you can easily heal with a few potions and a little magic. Now get out there and kick some butt, princess. Being a princess is a lot more work than I thought it would be. Guess I'll stick to being Kristen, queen of cheats. Come with me now, my loyal subjects, to the DC universe for a crash course in Justice League Heroes. Remember when you were a kid and you ran around in your underwear with your mom's good towel tied around your neck pretending to be Superman? Relive those dreams with Justice League Heroes and play as your favorite DC do-gooders. Heroes starts off with a mysterious group of killer robots running rampant through the city, and the Justice League must battle to take them down and find the source of the onslaught. Heroes is a throwback to the top-down scrollers or dungeon crawlers like Gauntlet or Baldur's Gate. The gang's all here, from Superman to the Martian Manhunter, each with five unique superpowers. 
the left trigger button calls up the superpower menu. You play one character at a time in each level, with a second on autopilot. You can toggle between the two to take advantage of each hero's powers. Use these powers sparingly. You have limits, and you can soon find yourself worn out if you're not careful. So tired. When this happens, throw down in a melee to regenerate. Speaking of melee, you'll spend most of your time fighting this way. Level after level, you will smack around robots, drones, bees, killer frogs, and more. So get used to mashing A and B. There are combos your characters can do, like a simple BA. This will give a more powerful attack with a fun little animation on top of it. Eventually, you learn that Superman's old foe, Brainiac, is behind the robot onslaught. He has a little help along the way from lower-level bosses like Queen Bee and Killer Frost. In this level, you'll be attacked by various robots regenerating from energy towers. They get tougher as their numbers increase, so strike at the source, take out the towers, and bye-bye bots. If the robots get too tough for you to handle and your health begins to deplete, I need more energy. back away from the fight and your energy will increase. When you encounter a small army of robots, you may lose your bearings in the maze. If this happens, pull up your mini-map by clicking the right thumbstick. But don't be too hasty. Be sure to keep an eye out for shields hiding in corners. Collect enough of these and you can unlock special abilities later in the game. While on your journey, you'll encounter simple puzzle doors and energy fields. The doors are unlocked by pressing the correct buttons in the right order. As for the energy shield, just a quick blast with some heat vision will suffice. Once you've taken down the towers and destroyed all the bots, you move on to the boss battle. Batman and Superman soon find themselves in a battle with an imposter brainiac. Your foe is situated in the middle of the room, guarded by a force field. From his sanctuary, you'll be attacked by energy bursts and twirling rays. On occasion, he'll leave the center to chase you around, so beware. The trick to this level is to stay the course and destroy the source of his power. On each corner of the room are four towers that power the force field and energy bursts. Superman is your best bet to take the towers out with a combination of brute strength and heat vision. Batman can hold his own on autopilot. Once the force field is down and the energy blasts have stopped, it's time to take down your foe. Get those underroos out of the dryer. It's time to save the world. We'll circle back to our own universe with Need for Speed Carbon right after the break. But first, here's a handy and weird quick cheat for Company of Heroes. Heroes is the new kick-ass RTS game for your PC that will have you pondering your next strategic move towards victory. But sometimes, war is too serious, so why not make it wacky? Enter this code in the console to activate the big head mode. One is to turn on the code, and zero is to turn it off. This should make them easy targets for the snipers. ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Computer crimes, such as identity theft, are on a steady rise. Personal information is being targeted and has become harder to secure. There's a demand for qualified individuals who can manage and secure a technical infrastructure that can help protect our privacy. The Information System Security Program in the ITT Technical Institute School of Information Technology is designed to teach students techniques used to deploy and manage security systems and configure security solutions. This program can help students prepare to confront information security challenges. Are you the type of person who would be interested in this growing field? Find out more about this program and the career opportunities available to its graduates. ITT Technical Institute School of Information Technology. Education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Today, you're the next Dragon Rider. Take the ultimate ride with the biggest adventure of the year. Bring the boy to me. Now on DVD. Aragon today. That's all you got. Half of all U.S. businesses are home-based. This free service helped me find the perfect home business. Their free success kit made it simple. 
All you need is a computer and a little desire. I'm making $10,000 a month. I work only three days a week and make $9,000 a month. We're making $12,000 a month. And we have more family time. Be a part of this $427 billion industry. I made enough money from my home business to buy a new home. Your successful home-based business is just a click away. So log on to 100HBB.com now. The critics are raving about Attack of the Show. TV Guide declares it's on weeknights at 7 and 11. <laughs> Olivia Munn is the co-host, shouts Daily Variety. And the Chicago Tribune cheers, it's a show. With reviews like these, isn't it time you checked out? Attack of the Show, tonight at 7 and 11 on G4. On she. We haven't spent much time on old terra firma yet in this episode. Well, start your engines, because we're hitting the road right now in Need for Speed Carbon. Get ready, racing fans. EA's Need for Speed Carbon is here for Xbox 360. This newest racer in the popular series combines the tuner customization of Need for Speed Underground with the police chases of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. You'll go head-to-head -head with opponents while trying to avoid the police through a dynamically changing open-ended world. You and your crew must race in an all-out war for the city, risking it all to conquer your rival's neighborhoods one block at a time. Here's how it works. You want the girl, Drive. you want the ride, and you most definitely want to rule the streets. With crafty driving skills, you're going to be the most wanted, most notorious street racing criminal in Rockport's history. Here's a few tips to become Rockport's superstar driver. At the beginning of the race, rev up your car and keep your eye on the tachometer needle. Whenever it turns green, you're in the perfect launch zone. And if it's green when the start timer reaches zero, you'll smoke past your competition. The best part of this game is that you'll rarely need to apply the brakes when racing. After all, this is need for speed, so be sure to speed up in the middle of a turn. Whenever possible, look at your mini-map in the left-hand corner of the screen. You'll get to see about a quarter mile ahead, but most importantly, you'll be able to see what shortcuts are coming up. After winning some races, you can take your earnings and trick out your ride. Add nitrous, body kit, rims, you name it, and give your car a little style. Remember, you're a gangster, so your turf will be getting attacked from time to time. You'll need kick-ass driving skills to keep it, or you'll lose your street cred. Now, let's talk about Heat. Heat decides how aggressive the police will be, and more importantly, what kind of arsenal they'll use on you. It increases over time during pursuits, which means you won't be able to reach high heat levels early in the game. While in hot pursuit, there will be several ways to lose the cops. You can ram into them, or run into obstacles to lose your tails. Just look at your mini-map and you'll see a small triangle. Drive towards it and let the demolition begin. To decrease your heat, go into any car shop and start changing the visuals on your car. The easiest way is to change the car's body kit and give it a new paint job. Now hit the streets and watch out for the heat. And that's how it's done in Brockport, Kenji. And by the way, visit g4tv.com slash podcast for clips of this and your other favorite G4 shows. We'll explore the secrets of Avatar, the last airbender when Cheat returns. But first, here's a quick cheat for NBA 2K7. What's the point of playing with your favorite team if they can't throw down? Unlock the tops team in NBA 2K7, and you'll have an all-star lineup with more dunks than a cop at Krispy Kreme. Go to the Features menu and select Codes, then enter this bad boy, and it's run and gun. Just make sure Kobe passes the ball. He's kind of forgetful. A thunderous dunk to finish the break! Can you really get a $200,000 mortgage for $585 a month? Now you can, with the new Secure Advantage Loan, exclusively from Quicken Loans. Nothing cuts your payment like Secure Advantage, the loan that gives you the advantage of choosing an incredibly low payment month after month. 
Quicken Loans is allowing us to do a lot of different things we weren't able to do before. We saved about $4,000 a year. Quicken Loans is fast, friendly, and we saved a lot of money. With the Secure Advantage Loan, you could cut your payment by over 50%. Take a look. The traditional payment on a $200,000 mortgage at 7% interest is $1,330. But with the new Secure Advantage Mortgage only from Quicken Loans, you can select a payment of just $585 a month. That's a difference of over $8,900 a year. Isn't that worth a few minutes on the phone? Make that call. <laughs> Whether you're buying or refinancing, Secure Advantage can be a great tool to lower your payment and increase your cash flow by thousands a year. Which means you'll have more cash on hand to remodel your home pay off credit cards, or whatever you need. Call toll-free now while rates are still low and ask how Quicken Loans can help you lower your payment by over 50%. We saved really hundreds of dollars a month. And that means a lot, especially when you have kids away at school. You want to get more for your money, and that's what I got. No matter what your loan amount, Secure Advantage can make a huge difference in your payment. Whether your mortgage is $300,000, $400,000, even $600,000, your payment can be lower than you ever imagined. Call now to see how Secure Advantage could cut your payment by over 50%, whether you're buying a new home or refinancing. Quicken Loans makes it fast and easy. You can get approved over the phone and close right in your home. If a $200,000 mortgage for only $585 a month sounds good to you, if you'd like to increase your cash flow by thousands of dollars a year, call now and ask about the new Secure Advantage Loan. Quicken Loans, America's home loan experts. Try to catch my golden snitch. And don't be too rough with your bludger. Homeowners, want to refinance and get cash? Countrywide has a great reason to do it now. A no-cost refi. It has no points, no application fee, no credit reporting fee, and no third-party fees, no title, escrow, or appraisal fees. Absolutely no closing costs, so you wind up with a lot more cash. Call now and ask for a no-cost refi. We're America's number one home loan lender, and no one can do what Countrywide can. Call 1-800-643-2862. Before the gremlins get you, get Progressive, number one in motorcycle insurance. Welcome back to Cheat. Oh man, did somebody just bend air in here? I swear I smell something. Geez, crack a window, will ya? Come on, fess up. Who's the airbender? All right, never mind. It's just Avatar, the last airbender. Then. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Based on the hit animated fantasy series, Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender is an exciting third-person action adventure. You play as a young avatar named Aang and several other characters, each with the ability to manipulate the elements. Your mission is to help save the world from the evil Fire Nation's powerful machines. You'll find that controlling Aang and his friends is a breeze, Pack and slash your way through enemies to quickly level up and earn important special attacks like Aang's Air Blast move. These special attacks are mapped to the four face buttons and are simple to execute. Just hold down the right trigger and hit the desired face button. Here's a few tips to help guide you through some otherwise nasty boss fights. First, you'll come across this mechanical monster known as the Colossal Inferno. The fire-bending machine can be tough, so try to keep your distance and time your attacks. When you get the chance, charge this guy head-on and use Aang's special air blast attack to deal some serious damage. Also, note that when you successfully string your hits together, you'll earn a powerful super move ending. The next boss fight is much more difficult. This badass firebender calls himself the Jailer, and he's holding your friends hostage. Don't worry, we'll get you out. 
From the start, you'll be forced to dodge the Jailer's flurry of attacks, so keep moving. Blocking won't help much either. The Jailer's three-pronged fireball attacks are too fast and accurate for Aang and his friends to block consistently. This can be a difficult fight, and you've got to take advantage of your surroundings. Fortunately, the Jailer's fireball attack cannot penetrate the lamps in the center of the stage. Taking cover behind these glitchy candles will buy your waterbending friend Katara enough time to build up her chi energy so she can heal you and the rest of your party. Once you've healed, charge the Jailer with all of your attacks until you're able to stun him. After he falls to his knees, put your bow staff to use and attack him as a gang to quickly deal the most damage possible. It's best to let Katara do the healing while Aang and her brother Sokka continue swinging. Regroup behind these candles and recharge if needed. Then continue wailing on the Jailer until he goes down again and again. Here's a look at a battle against the mighty Ancestral Bear. He's quick on his feet and full of powerful attacks. Use the D-pad to hot swap between teammates and make the most of the Chi energy attacks they have available. When the beast begins to glow with a red mist, charge with a quick stun attack and begin smashing at his nether regions. From there on, this bear shouldn't be much of a problem. Just remember to use your teammate's special abilities and keep your distance when he's charging. If you're able to keep your head in these boss battles, Avatar the Last Airbender is more fun than a barrel of flying bison. All in a day's work for the Avatar. Ooh, look at me, I'm an airbender. I'm special. Oh yeah? Well, can you swing like Tiger? I didn't think so. But I can, and I'll show you how when Cheat returns. But first, here's another look at those crazy elementals. When the Fire Nations are out to destroy all of humanity, you don't need big weapons or armor. What you really need is unlimited Chi. In Xbox video game version of the Nickelodeon show Avatar, you need to use your chi to execute special moves. Go to the code screen and type in 24463 and welcome yourself to the world of unlimited chi. Dude, it's 420. AOTS heads to Amsterdam. X plays trippiest games and the Big Lebowski. Friday, April 20th at 7 on G4. So where do you think this guy should be? I'd say this way. And let's make sure that sound effect we used in the last level fits in here too. This one? Yeah. You know, I'm so glad I got into game design. It's cool to be able to create the kind of games that we play. I know what you mean. And the training at Collins College takes less time than most people might think. Can you believe we get paid to do this? For a complimentary DVD, call 888-823-0999. Operators are standing by. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. Welcome to the main attraction, Sonic and the Secret Rings, rated E for everyone. The new BK Breakfast Value Menu. Ten items starting at a buck. The king has cracked your morning rut. Every day, our lives become more integrated with technology. Ultra-fast computer networks and inventive communication devices are altering the way we interact day to day. As electronics technology becomes more sophisticated, there's a real need for people who can help design, develop, install, and maintain computer systems. The Electronics and Communications Engineering Technology Program in the ITT Technical Institute School of Electronics Technology can help students develop skills to enter this fascinating field. Courses offer an expansive foundation in electronic circuitry and communications engineering technology. Today's technologists are helping to merge the real world with the virtual. Pursue a rewarding career in technology and help shape the future. ITT Technical Institute School of Electronics Technology. Education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. 
ultimate test of strength, agility, and courage. Ninja Warrior. Weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Only on G4. G4 is like being visited by a badass video game goddess who is way into tight circuit laced apparel and digging up funny obscure videos. Plus she's all over the latest blogs, games, and high tech gadgetry. This energy clad goddess slash sensei of digital goodness is plugged into what's going on. And therefore, my man, so are you. G4 is like that, basically. to cheat. Say bye bye to the Fire Nations and hello Mother Earth. We're back on the lush green turf of some of the world's finest golf courses with Tiger Woods 07. And in golf, as in life, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Tiger's back and he's making great use of his analog stick. Of course I'm talking about Tiger Woods 07 for the Xbox. What'd you think I meant, weirdo? This year, Tiger brings us the dual analog swing. Because seriously, who needs to press buttons these days? The left analog controls the swing, while the right analog determines where the club hits the ball. If you move the right analog up, the ball will travel a longer distance, but at a very long angle. Move the right analog down, and the ball will travel a shorter distance with a higher arc. The fade and draw shots come in handy if you need to avoid trees or a dog leg on the fairway. For a fade, pull the left analog to the bottom right and push the sticks towards the upper left. Your shot will curve upward to the right. Perform the opposite motion to draw your ball to the left. To get that extra boost an inch closer to the hole, tap the A button during your backswing. The graphic on the lower right-hand side of the screen will turn red as you add more power. If you need to give the ball a spin to gain a few yards, press the A button after your swing. Use the left analog stick to control the direction you want your ball to spin. Hopefully these tips will help you on the links. See you at the 18th hole. Of course, my favorite level is the 19th hole, but that's not available in any video game I've ever played. Hey, how long has it been since you brought the hammer down? I'm talking about Warhammer 40,000. A lot has happened since the last time you visited the 400th century. No bastard ever won a war by dying for his planet. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his planet. General Patton's words are truer than ever in Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War Dark Crusade for the PC. With this new planet on the line, two new forces have stepped up in this war of worlds. Let's start off with the home team, the Tau. Right from the start, you have one of the best units at your disposal, the Stealth Suits. In the land of Warhammer, being invisible is next to being invincible. You can't hit what you can't see. These barely there units can take and secure any post early in the campaign. How do you take out such a powerful force? Find them and then hit them in the face. Stealth suits lack the proper equipment for face-to-face -face confrontation. And that's why you have the Karut. The Karut represent the softer side of the Tau Empire. And by softer, I mean tough flesh and a maw full of teeth. <laughs> that won't be hard. Karut, take the brunt of any force that crosses your mind-laden path. Cheat's idea of a Tau cocktail calls for two shakes of stealth with one part Karut. Upgrade with the Feral Leap ability to launch a first strike as your weaker team members take pot shots from off the screen. Chow down on the losers to beef up your meat shields. Late in the game, after you've unpacked every heavily armored computer-guided long-range weapon of destruction and positioned them right at the edge of your adversary's home base, let me interest you in a little old-fashioned weaponry. I mean, look at this thing take on a whole army. This is what Jeff Goldblum warned us about in Jurassic Park. But here's how this big guy helps with our strategy. Let this big guy light your path of destruction to reveal vulnerable enemy structures. And there's the Necrons, the emo race. Necrons are tough, no doubt about that. A handful can take down several troops. They can even come back from the dead. The downside? They're slow, and there aren't many of them. One of the best units may just be one you rarely take in the battle the Tomb Spider. Here's his little trick. Max out your units and go into battle. When the dust and oil finally settle, fill in your ranks and send out the spider. With his recycling ability, you can turn the old and busted into a new unit while breaking your population cap. Before any battle, remember to pack the ammo and bring a little cheat. And as they 
say in France, hot dang, the show's over. If you missed any of these tricks, visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash chi. You can also write to us at chi at g4tv.com. Until next time, I'm Kristen Holt, and you've been cheating. Today on Attack of the Show, Apple TV has just hit stores hours ago, and we're demonstrating it live.